hello friends so in last video we did up to view chart and delete chart and update chart so now in this video we are going to perform checkout process but before checkout process we have to add here two button like user is going to perform operation using paypal or cash on delivery so before this chart totals we are going to add two buttons so what we have to do here you can see this is your checkout code this is your div inside the view card so i am going to just copy the same thing and here i am going to paste now here in the place of card totals uh, we are going to add payment type and we are going to remove this highlighted in place of this grand total we are going to write Cash on delivery. We don't need this spam. So we remove this spam tag. Here. value cash on delivery now let's check okay so we are getting this but uh, we need in left alignment so we are going to modify the code little bit let's see now mm. let me change here touch the line left yeah okay so it looks good now now we are going to add one more radio button the value is PayPal. So I'm going to just copy these things. Going to paste here. Here we are going to change the name. PayPal. Here we are going to keep the name same, but here we are going to change PayPal. Okay. So now you can see we have two radio button. It's like payment type, yes on delivery or PayPal now we are going to start work on this proceed to checkout button so for this you have to check here you need submit button you submit button or not that you have to check you need exactly same as this because if you have button type button then it will not work we have to change here button type submit and here we have to set the name okay now we are going to write the code if is set don't ask for post submit to sorry continue to now here we are going to write hello this is testing so this is your first step we are getting here hello this is testing it means your button is working fine this is your first step if you are not getting this message it means something problem on your button so you have to take a look why you are not getting this message okay now the second thing you have to check don't ask for post and here you have to give r1 So now you will get like you see that here cash on delivery and proceed to check out you received COD because in value we pass COD. If you select PayPal and click then you will get PayPal. It means up to here there is no issue on your code. 
if any problem then you have to take a look first why you are not getting these values okay so now here we need to take some session variable I will explain you why we are going to take this underscore post r1 so first we are going to take values of whatever you selected like paypal or cash on delivery that you we need to take in the session then now we are going to take a values like how many items in your card then when we are going to take one session variable jet route here we are going to take values yes and then we need to take total then we forward on jetroute.php so now you can see the jetroute.php is open but we don't have this page so now we are going to create this page on next video and you will get an idea why we take this variable step by step because when we are going to create the next page we are going to use these things so we'll get an exact idea why we take this as a variable but up to here first you have to perform thank you very much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thanks